Welcome back again everybody. This is Nicole from Wildflower Valley Farm. I've had several people asking me about the setup for my chickens and so today I am just going to give you a short little tour of how I have my chicken yard set up. So as I've mentioned before we live on a tiny little plot of land inside the limits of the tiny little town that we live in. And chickens are allowed. There are no limitations on poultry inside the town limits. The limitation that I have, however, is space. Our property is just about a tenth of an acre. And because we live inside the town limits, and I do have neighbors on all sides of me, it's not an option to let these birds free range. And in the past, I have been limited to what I could do in a small coop. This green roof that you see here is the roof on what was the original chicken coop when I first started keeping chickens here in town. It is four feet by four feet and I just had a few hens. And over time this has been modified many times. It at one time had a run that was attached to the side here and came out this way where I just planted my tomatoes and there was a point in time where there was a run that came out the back and last year when I had ducks but did not have chickens I modified this to be my duck pen with just some old pallets and scrap together wire and then I've used plastic netting on the top, both to keep the birds from flying out because they were ducks and to keep aerial predators from coming in. And so this space here was all that I had until I discovered the glories of poultry netting. And because of that, I have been able to expand so that rather than just being able to keep about six maybe eight hens here if they're managed well I have been able to actually expand and as you can see the white Cornish rocks in there I'm raising meat birds these are actually the second batch of Cornish rocks that have been in here this year I just finished processing the first batch of them yesterday so this is the front side of that same chicken coop And this shed is basically like my tool shed, but I didn't want the chickens being able to get onto the porch and pooping all over the porch. I can close that door, that's not a problem. But I didn't want the chickens being able to get up on that porch and making it nasty. So I have used my poultry net to actually fence off the porch. Because the netting is flexible enough for me to just step over, I can still get into that shed anytime I need to. But the poultry netting allows the chickens to get to all sides of that shed. And they can go all the way to the back of the property line on this side. I've just about demolished most of the grass in here and one of the beauties of the poultry net is that I can move it so I can move it to put them in this area that's kind of grown up beside the house I can move them on up through the yard that way if I wanted to put them in the front yard on a temporary basis I could do that I would not do that for long periods of time just because I'm sure the neighbors would not appreciate having chickens in the front yard but I could do that for short periods of time if I wanted to. And of course, once the meat birds are gone out of here, there won't be as many chickens. And this space will be able to grow back up much more quickly. But because of being able to add this poultry netting, I have basically been able to allow the chickens to get to all sides. The fenced-in coop itself goes down this side of the shed and all the way across the back. 
and then the poultry netting comes out the front and around here and all the way up to this side So that's a lot more space available to me that was at one time not usable at all for the chickens. I have a couple of different options set up here for feeding and that is just a rubber feed pan. I ferment their feed and put it in there. And since these birds are still young, I'm still feeding them a combination of chick starter and some fermented grains. And so I put most of that in that pan there because once the chick starter absorbs the water, it basically turns to mush. Chickens will still eat it, it's no problem. But if I put it in my other container here, that would just run out the bottom. Because what I've done is I took an, a metal feed pan here and punched holes all in the bottom and in this pan goes just the fermented grains and the holes in the bottom allow all that water to drain out so I soak the feed for a minimum of three days to let it ferment and then I can pour water and all directly in that pan and let it drain and then I just have another feed pan here that I use for their water and that allows them free access to food and fresh water. It actually takes them about two days usually to consume all of this feed. I probably am feeding them too much, but I'm still working on measurements. And then when I pull weeds from the garden or, or larger things from around the yard, I just toss that in so they still have green things to eat. And they can scratch around in the shavings and it keeps them healthy and happy. The first batch of the Cornish cross that I raised in here, I did not lose any of them once I moved them in here. Now I did lose a few chicks, but that is unfortunately something that's to be expected sometimes with any chicks that you raise. You're always, not always, but very often going to lose one or two anyway. So I just chalk that up to the unfortunate circumstances that that sometimes is but once I moved them in here I have had no losses didn't have I haven't had any trouble with the Cornish breaking any bones um, you hear a lot of times of them getting too fat and just sitting around and sometimes dying of heart attacks before they even get to butcher weight because they just get so they grow so fast, not really so fat, they just grow so fast that their bodies can't hold them up. And I haven't had that experience since being able to put them in this poultry net. They scratch around and act like chickens. And they grow just as big, just as fast as the ones that you see raised in a smaller area with 24 seven feet available to them at all times. I do limit their feed. I don't feed them at night. I only feed them during the day. And I feed them out here in the yard so that they have to come out and get up and go get their food. But as you can see, these birds over here are scratching around looking for bugs, eating the leaves off of these plants. They act like chickens. So that's my poultry set up for now. Like I said, I can and probably will be moving this netting to, to another part of the yard at some point in the future. It's not necessary that it be moved right now, so I'm going to work on some other projects that I have and contemplate where to move this to when it's time. So if you live in a small space and are wanting to keep chickens but aren't sure how to do that, without having to keep them in a small coop consider getting yourself a poultry net because for me in my experience it was a total game changer for being able to keep chickens 
They can move about the yard. They can behave as if they are free range birds, but they're still contained so that they don't annoy my neighbors. And the poultry fencing protects them from, it's electrified, so it protects them from predators. If you haven't already, please remember to click that subscribe button down below. If you want to be notified the next time we upload a video, click the bell icon that you see beside that subscribe button and then you will be notified every time we upload something new. And don't forget to check out the description down below for links to all of our social media accounts. I will also put some links to where you can purchase this poultry netting. You can find it. I bought it directly from Premier One. You can do that or you can buy it from Amazon. It's available there. So I'll put links to both down below. Thanks for watching.